something happen. There was what's well, gonna happen with the video file because I have a new battery. And it's and it is better, but there's still something wrong with the phone. So um So, uh, yeah, what I, was re I was just doing a recap of um, uh, how I, I was feeling emotionally and how I didn't have that crying feeling anymore because I filled it with pizza because that's totally cool. Not really, but yeah, totally remember when I was unemployed and trying to eat really healthy. And I was, I don't know, I just don't know where my life's going anymore. So I was texting her. She's like, oh, seems like you're in a, you're between a rock and a hard place. It's just, and I'm like, I know that wasn't advice. It's just, I need someone to talk to, but, you know, she's busy all the time. Joey's busy all the time. sitting for the past like two and a half. 
there's also, you know, electric bill, but now there's like cell phone and internet and all these other sh sh shit. There's just so much, it's overcomplicated, but I'm thinking, well, I use the internet as a communication service in a way that I can not just There we go. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's, it's a drought, but like this is the nicest part of the drought we're gonna get. Yeah. Yeah, or we're gonna get some rain coming up in this week yeah, to clear it up. Yeah, days. hopefully it doesn't dry up with the heat though. <laughs> but have a good night.
when it comes to uh, small talk. It's like, I love it in like certain forms of small talk. Like if someone brings up like Hillary Trump, it's like, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Just stop it. But like, it's like, ooh, the weather. It's like, yes, the weather. Oh, I see the tree that they cut down, that's why it looks so open. And, uh, yeah, so, I'm definitely going for a second lap. Because, like, I woke up, and by, like, 12.30, I start making a smoothie. Or one. Not definitely, like, one. But, because Craig was cleaning, vacuuming, doing all this. He was cleaning all day. He's in the house. Yesterday, in the days before, like, a week before, he was... I hope you probably can hear the motorcycles. What road are they on that's that long? But, um... So... Oh, that's not, yeah, but the week before he was house sitting slash cat sitting for uh, some friend of his. Or I'll put that in quotes because they don't hang out. It's just whenever she needs cat sitting, that's that old co-workers of his when he had a job at Boardwalk. How many years ago? are playing tricks on me. But, uh... So... Yeah. job or not I don't know I can't recall what I was doing but I um, I 
decided to like take that free time and learn something pick up a book like read learn I just kept doing that and I would get healthy I would try to get into shape or improve myself improve on himself. He's mentally retarded now. He's just smoking so much weed. And I hate saying that. I hate saying smoking weed with like verbally, audibly. It just sounds gross, but he just does that every day and he still thinks I don't know, but fucking obvious. And he and there's been times where I walk you know, I wake up and this happened when Dad was in New York, and Craig, sick Craig, was sleeping over, sleeping in Dad's bed, getting me sick, getting my mom sick, and he, I wake up, and he'd be on the back deck with a bar, or a pipe, or anything, just sitting there blank, and I'd walk by it, like, pretending I didn't see, because it's just a fucking disappointment, that's all he was doing, and there's some people example, like the band Sleep slash High on Fire, they're a band that they're affiliated with pot, and their music, and one drives the other, and they're creative, and, and people think, um, like, oh, groovy man, I'm getting like Alex Gray, man, like all, he does it, LSD and all that shit, but like people think affiliate that with creative things and people and vibrant colors and now with my brother, he doesn't fucking do shit, he just sits there and eats, he sits there and eats other people's food. Yesterday, when my dad, he came home from work. My dad's looking for sandals and a shirt. I think some shorts too. And my dad's like, hey, have you seen my sandals? My brother's like, nope. As he's standing on the deck aimlessly just looking out or just trying to eavesdrop in mom and I. And guess what? My brother's like, or my dad's like, no wonder why I can't find anything. You're wearing the outfit that I want to wear. Oh, no, I'm not. He fucking lied. Why would he fucking lie about some stupid shit like that? Where he's obviously wearing his clothes. <laughs> it, he's so brain dead and so pathetic. And he doesn't have, ho once again, hobbies or interests. He doesn't do a thing. Hold on, there's a car coming. <laughs> but that's... He doesn't do a shit. Because... Sorry, this is me ranting because he's a fucking loser. But there's a time. I guess he has some boyfriend. I'll put that in quotes because he's really just a sugar daddy and pays for a lot of things for Craig and brings him to places and events and works and travels well. Craig does nothing and sits around like a little child. He acts like a little child in all aspects. And so, let's see. I remember, this is before he moved in, I'm getting home from work, I open that door, say hi to mom, I'll be right with you, say hi, what's up, and good night, but walking up the stairs, not making eye contact with him, Craig is having a big bowl of frosted flakes while FaceTiming his boyfriend, which is 
his boyfriend is twice his age. And, uh, you know, I guess you can say successful person. Well, Craig is a man-baby child who has... Is, he's really nothing. He's a, a nobody. But... I can hear... Um, I can hear him, his boyfriend, talking. Saying, like, yeah, I really like, uh... Like, mythology. I like Norse mythology or something like that. Oh. And, um... He's like, yeah, I really, I'm really into mythology. <laughs> My brother, knowing nothing about anything, he's just like... Yeah says, yeah, some, sometimes I look like putting stuff in my cereal, like strawberries. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> That's all you can bring to a conversation, Craig, because you're so brain dead. That's all you know, is eating in the smoking pot and uh, lying, stealing, throwing people's shit away, being... You know, being OCD to the point where we don't feel bad anymore because this is no one, no one's fault but his own. And because if you smoke a lot of that, you become very paranoid and antsy, and it just stacks on top of itself. But you just keep doing it, keep doing it constantly, every day, twice a day do nothing with it, just sit around and just start touching things, and like, ooh, this, this isn't aligned with this, so I have to, uh, move it so it's straight, oh, and I need to, this doesn't look right, so I need to touch it, even though I touched it before, I need to touch it again, so it's like this, and then I need to do this, you know, oh no, this isn't my property, but I don't care, I'm just gonna touch it anyways, and blah, 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 and then everyone gets mad, he does not recognize when when he does something wrong that it's bad and he should stop. That's something, uh, you know, a four-year-old should learn, but he's... He is, uh, having a lot of trouble recognizing right from wrong at almost 26 years old. How sad his life has become. To the point where if he died or he killed himself, there would be no loss. And I think the world can actually gain from it. So, it is a sad <clears throat> life he is living. And he's someone where it, it seems like my whole family is, doesn't like the thought of progressing and changing and becoming a better person. Because right now, and yes, I'm confident to say we're something's wrong, I need a change, I'm not happy, I or either my choices will be altered, and I can admit that, but everyone in my family seems that they don't need to change, everyone else needs to change, or things need to stay the same. Here I am approaching home. Ugh, my stomach feels gross. Looks like my mother has her AC on, but all the windows seem to be open in the house. It's time to change that right now.
I got. This fan needs to be shut off. The one in the kitchen. The one right there. Let's conserve energy. I mean, heat and energy. Yeah, what about the bathroom in here? How's that looking? It is shut. Yep. I mean, is my brother's room. Because my brother, oh, I forgot. Because uh, my brother believed that shades should always be yanked up all the way. Doesn't seem that I can find the barbecue lighter. I guess I can't find a lighter and I'm not going downstairs as much as I want to light this incense. It's blueberry. Let's uh, another complaint. We already complained, to, complained about him, but now my mom, my mom does this thing. Or when she gets sick, or she thinks she's sick, or like her elbow hurts or something, she will go to the doctor. What did I do when I was sick? Well, I did what's expected of me as a human being. I thought I got to double my consumption in water. It has been shitty, by the way, lately. Like, nothing. So, I doubled it, vitamin C, vitamin D, um, tissues, have to get everything out, mucus and snot, need to get it and pee and poop, all of them. Yes, and I get the softer tissues because I get tissue rash. So I drink water. 
and no dairy, no sugar. Okay. So, that's what you do about my mother. She's been relying on doctors and medication. But then she says, Oh, this medication doesn't work. I need different stuff and more. I need a second opinion for a common cold. And guess what? She has sugar, she has dairy, it extends it more. She just doesn't care. She says, oh, well, I did this. It's like, well, you can't just say, well, I tried. You have to do it all the way. Even when you're not sick, you have to take care of yourself so you don't become sick. She's coughing, she's coughing. I'm like, okay, I don't care what the weather is. I had tea, hot water with honey in it. A lot of honey. And she's like, no, and I'm like, have an apple or an orange for breakfast. But I'm just on the mood for it. It's like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. What if you're in the hospital for something worse, like, uh, ten hundred times worse? Um, you, the doctor would be like, okay, here's your pills. But I don't want it. Okay, here's your food. But I'm full already from nothing. Ugh, it doesn't matter. If you care or not, if you're in the mood for it, no, you just have to fucking take care of yourself. Now, my mom and my dad, they're like, mm, dispute. Well, my dad's like, what do I do? And my mom's like, I'm fucking pissed. Why? Because my dad went out and bought a bike of his own instead of using Craig's and the seat being adjusted and all this weird shit. So he's like, I'm gonna get my own personal bike. So he did. And it was one of those wide handlebar ones with the, the wheel guards. But you might think, yeah, so what? He bought a bike. He just got up. Mom's like, where's dad? I don't know. Comes back, has a bike. I love my bike. And my mom's like, oh, I always want my own personal bike. And he didn't ask. He's got money for two, for hundreds. Buys one black and pink, but he, he's colorblind, so. <laughs> and my mom's like pissed. She's like, I'm always left out. I'm like, actually you are. I agree with you on, on you. But my dad, whenever he makes a decision, he doesn't consider anybody else with his decision. With this, he probably thought, mm, what's wrong? Or he just didn't think at all. I don't care. I don't want a bike. I don't care. But my mom was like, well, what if I want to ride a bike with you? We take walks together now, recently. Why not bike ride together? But yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if this was recorded, but at like 3.30, I got a getting calls from Seabrook, that's Staples, voicemail and texts. Hey, could you cover for the night shift? And I wasn't in the mood for it. I just, because my brother, it's like, this was my day off. Sitting around, I wanted to enjoy myself sitting around the house, but no. Craig was cleaning, 
doing all this shit, being loud. And I'm like, ugh, like, mom, doesn't this bother you? Just ignore it, don't let it get to you. No. That's not what you do in your own house. You shouldn't have that thought of just ignore it, don't let it get to you in your own house. Also, the fucking problem is your son. So, what the fuck? So it's like, I don't, I want to be in the house, don't want to be in the house at the same time. I need to eat, don't want to start making anything, don't really want to start doing anything. But I got Fallout 4 and I tried that out and I'm like, okay, this is good, but... I'm down.